This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. Shock and grief gripping an Eleuther family after a late night fire ends in death. Investigations have so far revealed that the call was made after 9 p.m. of a fire that had engulfed a single story structure in Green Castle. With the help of volunteer firefighters and residents, police were able to extinguish the blaze. The building, however, was completely destroyed. An inspection revealed the body of a five year old in a southeastern room. Investigations are ongoing. Meantime, four men out of a huge amount of drugs following two major drug seizures here in the capital, the first after 11 o'clock last night. From what authorities have shared with us, a team of DEU police marine support officers along with DEA intercepted a 21-foot vessel a quarter mile south of New Providence. The occupants ran the vessel on a sandbank, swam to land and from there escaped. A search of the vessel revealed 60 bags of suspected marijuana. The estimated street value has been pegged at $1.8 million. Fast forward to after 1 this morning and a 15-foot gray and white skiff was intercepted 15 miles south of the capital. Two men were on board. Upon sp uh, spotting the officers, the men threw two crocus bags into the water. Police said the marijuana weighed 90 pounds, a value of $90,000. The accused are expected to appear in court later this week. And police over in Grand Bahama need your assistance locating 30-year-old Daisha Larissa Flowers of Freeport, Grand Bahama. She's wanted by the Central Detective Unit for fraud. She's described as being medium built with brown complexion. If you have any information on the whereabouts of Daisha Flowers, you are asked to contact the Central Detective Unit in Freeport, Grand Bahama at telephone number 350-3107 through 12 919 or call your nearest police station. Our final story is up next. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.